Hello everybody, JT here. Today, in this tutorial, we are going to connect to the Grid Plus Web Wallet. Let's get started. The Grid Plus Web Wallet is a simple wallet app to view addresses and balances, as well as send transactions from your device's active wallet and more. The app is used to manage ABI contract definitions, set spending limits, and you can also use it to route messages from your Lattice One through your own server. To get started, let's head over to the Grid Plus web wallet by typing in wallet.gridplus.io. Enter your device ID. You can find that on your Lattice One home screen as the last item in the main menu. Simply tap on device ID and create a password for logging in. You define this password. It is not saved anywhere and is simply used to establish a secure connection between your web wallet and your Lattice One device. If you forget this password, you can always remove the connection from your Lattice by going to Permissions and then select Grid Plus Web Wallet, then Delete. Next, just log out and create a new password when you reconnect. Enter the pairing secrets you now see on your Lattice One screen. You have one minute to do so. And now, you're logged in. In the menu on the left, you can find five tabs. The Wallet tab lets you see your crypto balance, its value in dollars, and also a short transaction history. Send and Receive are used for sending and receiving Bitcoin, Ethereum, and ERC20 tokens. Next is the Contract Data tab. Let's load some contract data and at least demonstrate the installation function. Contract Data lets you load custom Ethereum ABI smart contract definitions to your Lattice One, which makes working with apps for which the contract packs are available much safer, as you can really read what you're signing with your own eyes instead of staring at a cryptic hex string. We will have a future video which covers more in depth the power of this feature. The Limits tab allows you to enable web wallet transactions from paired devices while away from your Lattice One, up to a limit you specify. This is the foundation for something much more ambitious. Take a look at the knowledge base for additional details. The Settings tab allows you to manage third-party connections created via the Lattice One connector, and you can also set up a custom endpoint for routing Lattice One messages in case you want to use your own infrastructure instead of the default one provided by Grid Plus. Check out Alex Miller's blog post in the knowledge base for more information. The web wallet currently supports holding, receiving, and sending Bitcoin, Ethereum, and ERC20 tokens. If you want to work with crypto more deeply, we recommend using the Grid Plus MetaMask extension. Back to the Grid Plus web wallet. You can switch between currencies very simply. Just select the one you want to use in the top right corner. Let's send some now so you can see the signing screen on your Lattice One. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will be conducting a simple send of Ethereum. ENS addresses are also supported. Signing to secure the transaction takes place on the Lattice One, not on the web wallet, or even on MetaMask if you're making a transaction there. You can then view this transaction on any block explorer. You may switch between wallets at any time on your Lattice One device by inserting or removing safe cards. When there is no safe card inserted, it means you are using the built-in Lattice One wallet. When on this wallet, your home screen will show Lattice One addresses as the first item. If you wish to switch to a safe card wallet, simply insert and unlock the card with your PIN. Your home screen will now show safe card addresses as the first item. On the web wallet, you simply press the refresh button on the top right of the screen. It should tell you the wallet it currently knows about. This will refresh the connection with the Lattice One and will update the current wallet to whatever is active on your device. If you have any questions or features you'd like to see, please reach out to us at gridplus.io or find us anytime on Reddit YouTube, Twitter, and Discord. On behalf of the Grid Plus team, my name is JT. Cheers and big hugs from Kansas City.